Easy saran wrap mani with negative space and glitter placement. Let's get started. For this design, you will need your favorite base coat, two different shades of polish. Here I used a light peach and a neon pink, but any variations of color will do. You could even use three different colors if you wish. I chose to use loose glitter, but you can always use glitter from your favorite polish. Just make sure the diameter of the glitter is on the larger side. A dotting tool, or you can always use a toothpick. A cleanup brush for small messes. Your favorite top coat. Your preferred nail polish remover or acetone. Nail file. Q-tips. Cuticle oil. Hole reinforcements or stickers with a round shape. And finally, saran wrap. Remove the existing nail polish with nail polish remover or acetone. This is usually my least favorite part. Sometimes I just don't want to part with a design. Now that your nails are cleaned in a blank canvas, let's file down the edges of the nails. Remember to shape any nails that might need a little extra love. This helps to keep your nails look uniform. Wash your hands from any nail filing residue in warm soapy water and dry them thoroughly. Then apply your favorite base coat. Never skip this step in the process. Applying base coat not only helps the polish last longer, but it protects the nails from discoloration. <laughs> Sticker time! Grab the hole reinforcements, or if you do not have any, you can even use the rounded edge of band-aids. Double check to make sure that the base coat is fully dry before placing the stickers on your nails. Go ahead and place the stickers on the lower parts of your nail beds, and readjust if necessary. <laughs> Looks a little silly, but trust me, it works. Make sure that the stickers are laying flat on the nails so the polish does not bleed through. The next step is not necessary, but depending on the shade of polish you use, applying a neutral base coat will help bring out the colors in the design. Don't worry if the base coat doesn't appear totally opaque, one generous coat will do the trick, you'll see. Go time! Once you've allowed for the polish to completely dry, grab your desired shades and pre-cut saran wrap. If you do not have saran wrap, you can always use a plastic bag. Next, sporadically place generous drops of the polish on the nail. The fun part? There is no right or wrong way of doing so. Just have fun with it and don't be afraid to experiment. There are different methods to use a saran wrap to create this design. The first is by dabbing the polish gently, which will blend the colors together. The second method I tried was to place the saran wrap completely on the nail and gently press down to mix the colors. Complete the rest of the nails with the method you are the most comfortable with. Messy, I know, but that's the fun part. Before the polish dries completely, remove the stickers from your fingers. If you do this step when the polish is dry, it might cause the paint on your beautiful design to lift or tear, which can be quite frustrating. Let's do a little cleanup before we go ahead with the glitter placement. I promise not all of my designs are this messy, but hey, nothing a little acetone can't fix. Lately, I've been really liking this cleanup brush. It's small, sturdy, and precise. If you notice any polish that bled through, go ahead and clean that up as well. Top coat time. This step is not mandatory, but I always highly recommend it. Top coat not only gives your nails a healthy shine, but can also prevent them from chipping. Especially for this design, it helps give the illusion of the colors blending together. See, all pretty. Now to make your nails pop with a bit of glitter. Ooh, shiny. For this step, you can use a toothpick or a small dotting tool. Place a bit of clear coat on a palette, dip the toothpick, and pick up one piece of glitter. This step does take more time and patience. Continue with this method until you've outlined the half moon. Adjust the glitter if necessary while the clear coat is still wet. I was having a bit of difficulties with the toothpick and found the dotting tool to work in my favor. Continue with your glitter placement on the rest of your nails. Next up, yep, you've guessed it, seal the glitter with a bit of top coat. I chose to only cover the glitter part of my nail, but you can run it gently along the entire nail if you wish. This helps prevent the glitter from catching and falling off. Very final step is to apply a bit of cuticle oil, lotion, or balm to restore moisture. Go ahead and massage around your nails first and with the remaining oil into your fingers. Let this sit for a good 15 minutes to allow the oils to sink into your skins and voila! 
The finished results are an impressive, fun, and girly manicure. If you like this design and would like to see more, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so you can follow along with the next fun design. I'd love to see your recreations on Instagram at NinaTuck and use the hashtag veganfingers. Thank you for watching and until next time.